welcome to my booktube channel I meant to start this at home and not in my car but I had to wake up at 5 in the morning to drive all the way up to Dallas to record for my dance team uh, which will be linked below but that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about how we're going book shopping and I'm attempting to go to like 10 half price books fingers crossed that happens because I am just gonna spend all day book shopping and I thought y'all deserve to come along with me and to see what books I end up picking up. Um, I am on the hunt for a few to fill in some gaps on my bookcase, but I also just want to go with the vibe if I see a book I like. In September, I am off my book buying ban yet again. I made it through a book buying ban in July, and then August I bought a bunch of books the first week, and then I went on another ban. And so we're back September 1st. It's actually September 4th, so I'm four days in and I still haven't bought any books and I need to rectify that. So 10 book stops, all day book shopping. Um, hopefully this is interesting and hopefully this is fun, but let me get into this half price because I've been sitting outside of it for like 10 minutes trying to record this intro, but let's go. just sent me Haley Pham's video, um, which I obviously haven't had time to watch, but I do usually keep up with her videos. Um, and she sent me a screenshot, and then I zoomed to that point in the video, and Haley literally bought stickers from my Etsy shop, which was very exciting. Um, and it was kind of like a cool, like, oh my gosh moment, because I've been following her channel since like 2019. Um, on and off and so that was so cool and she literally <laughs> ew I'm fangirling this is gross um but she literally used can you even see she used my medieval weapons sticker sheets in her journal and first off her journal looks stunning oh my gosh I wish my reading journal could be that cute um and second off she used my stickers <laughs> which I guess Check out my Etsy shop linked below. Is that how one promotes? <laughs> I never promote my Etsy enough. I will say that that third half price books had like the shittiest selection of why I've ever seen. But I did manage to find a really nice copy of We Hunt the Flame and it's stunning. Um, and then to haul the other books that I got from the second bookstore, I got Ace of Spades, News of Nightmares, and Aragon. And now we're on to number four. Wow, we are making great progress. It is currently 1 p.m., which is great. I'm gonna go to this one, and then I think I'm gonna go to lunch. Cause I'm gonna be a little bit peckish and a little bit lightheaded, but I've been drinking water, just lukewarm car water, which has not been great. But yeah, onward to book, book four, to bookstore four. It is a torrential downpour, 
it's not actually torrential nor really a down well it's a little bit of a downpour but for texas it's torrential um yeah luckily a bitch has an umbrella so this day is not over yet we're still going so on to bookstore five <sighs> it's time to face the rain sounds like it's slowing down but it could just be in my head Michaels in a Daiso. The fuck? Another nook. Okay, besties, we are outside. The 10th, I think, I've lost track, and final half price book for today. And then I'm going home. And I will do a full haul for I can kind of show every single book I got. I am very excited because I got a really good selection. They're just piled up on the floor right now, which is fantastic. I'm exhausted and feeling so crusty though. So let's pop into this half price books. Let's go home. Let's do this little haul and then let's get some sleep because I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I pulled an all nighter because I got home from work at like 11. And then by the time I showered and ate and got ready for bed, it would have been like midnight. And then I knew I could not bring myself to wake up at five in the morning. So instead, the day before what I did is I went to bed super late. I think I went to bed at like six in the morning and I slept until three in the afternoon or two in the afternoon. And then I work from three to 11 and then I had my day. And then the plan was after I did my dance cover was to go home and sleep. But then I was like, I'm in Dallas. Why don't I go book shopping? And now I am barely functioning as a basic human being right now. And so, yeah, books. Let's go see if I can find any more for this last stop. Okay, I literally spent like seven minutes in there and then dipped because there were so many people, so I didn't film a single thing. Um, one. And two, I'm just out of energy. Like, I can't. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. <laughs> I am absolutely exhausted. But the f I overheard the funniest conversation. And not funniest because of, like, what was said. But funniest because this little 13-year-old, let's say. I'm not good with ages. But let's say 13-year-old. Her mom asks, like, did you find anything? And the little 13-year-old goes, people need to write better books. <laughs> and then goes on to explain how everything's either romance or it's about someone discovering their inner true selves after discovering they're part of some prophecy. I was like, girly, there are good books out there. You just are looking at the wrong ones. Like, it was just so funny. Just people need to write better books. I'm like, write it yourself, girly. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but. I am headed home, which is so exciting because I am exhausted, but let's see how long my drive is home. 40 minutes, not bad. No five o'clock traffic. West toward Harwood Road. So loud. No five o'clock traffic because it's a Sunday. Onward.
ah, I just want to be home. Like, so I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. But I will update you to do the haul when I'm home, obviously. I finally am home. And I apologize if I look crusty. I looked at myself in the mirror and <laughs> the humidity really got to me. Makeup, hair, just how I feel, it got to me. But let's get into this fun little book haul. I'm so excited to share everything that I got. First, starting with things that aren't books, but is actually seasons three and four of Gossip Girl, which now means that I own the entire series in CDs, which is very exciting because I love Gossip World so much. I watched it back in 2020 when I was super depressed in college. And yeah, it's like a little comfort show now. And then quickly getting some other books out of the way that y'all probably don't care about. Um, I got three new Rangers Apprentice books, 4, 10, and 12, just in the new covers because I'm collecting them in all forms. So naturally, I bought them. Then I have Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, which I actually have already read, but I do own Strange the Dreamer, which is actually right here. And yep, yep, see, this is why I bought it. Look how sexy they look next to each other. I love it. Strange the Dreamer might have to be moved up a shelf because this is a sexy little combo. I dig it. I do. Look at that. I have already read Muse of Nightmares. I just borrowed it from the library because I wasn't expecting to like it and I did four star it so I wanted a copy for myself and like I said it's so pretty. Next we have Ace of Spades and this is by Amanda Foodie and I don't know exactly this is very like vague on the back. I'll, I'll put the blurb up um, in case y'all actually want an in-depth what this book is about because I sort of skimmed the back and it sounded interesting enough for me to buy it, which is how I did with a few of these other books. Was this the one that gave me Six of Crows vibes? No, that was a different one. Oh, I don't know why I got this one. Um, Welcome to City of Sin, where casino families reign, gangs infest the streets, and secrets hide in every shadow. So, hopefully it'll be good. I don't know why. I, I don't remember why I bought this one. I guess that it was intriguing enough that I wanted to pick it up, so hopefully it'll be good. I think this was the one that gave me Six of Crows vibes, and that is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. Um, this is the Fairy Loot edition, and maybe you can see the sparkles a little bit more. And it is signed by both the authors, which is pretty snazzy. Again, blurb on the screen for you know what's going on in the book. But six misfits against an exceptionally wicked enemy doesn't make for generous odds. Luckily, Rags is not generous, he's smart, and he has a plan that just might work. So, very Six of Crows vibes, like I said, ragtag bunch. Um, plus, it was a fairy loot edition, so it was just pretty. Can you be quiet? Then we have Gear Breakers by Zohanna Makuta. And this gave me, like, cyberpunk vibes, obviously, from the cover. Like, the cover, I definitely, I definitely judge this book by its cover, because... It is stunning. And I haven't read like a sci-fi book in quite a little bit. I don't have that many sci-fi books. The last one I can think of is Cinder. So I'm excited to read something that is sci-fi but not Cinder. So hopefully this little cyberpunk moment will be good because I definitely bought this mostly for the cover. Chloe Gong says, an absolute joyride. Sci-fi at its very finest. So yeah. Hopefully I can trust Chloe Gong in this instance. Then I picked up Aragon by Christopher Pellini. Now I wasn't planning on buying this series. I own Bringsger, which was the third book, and I never was going to read it. I was actually going to unhaul it, but then I ended up reading this book. I have a whole vlog on it if you want to check it out. It's kind of a stupid vlog, uh, but it's fun. I read it for a stupid reason, but I don't regret reading it. However, I wanted a copy to own for myself because when I read it, I borrowed it from the library and I really wanted to annotate it, but it was from the library. So I just went ahead and bought the rest of the series and I still needed the first one. So I finally found a copy that had the correct texture to match all the other ones that I own. And that wasn't too terribly beat up. Honestly, the like little edges don't really bother me because a lot of my books are like that because I'll put them in my tote bag and the edges of the dust cover will get wrecked if I forget to take it off. But tis the reality of 
collecting books and also reading them. What a concept. I also have It by Stephen King. Now I have a very fun video planned. Um, not really that fun. I just plan to read this entire book. This is so thick. This is ridiculous. How many pages is this? 1100 pages. Like I've read Kingdom of Ash and I know it's over a thousand pages, but this just makes, I think it's because it's paperback. Like this is ridiculous. Like for scale, like this is my head. Like what the fuck? I'm not that excited to read this. Like I am. But I'm also an absolute wuss and I don't pick up mystery or horror books because I have severe anxiety. And so, yeah, this is going to be pure torture. But the things I do for YouTube. So hopefully if y'all are still around by time October rolls around, which hopefully you are, because I don't know when this video is coming out. I think it's end of September. And so if you're not around October, I'll cry. And if you haven't subscribed, you should totally do that. I'm not done with the book haul, but I thought I should just let you know that you should. Because if you want to see the psychological terror I put myself through when I read this book solely for your entertainment, so you should, you should subscribe. That's all I'm saying. Next, I picked up We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fazal. I do believe, might have butchered that, hopefully not. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like I didn't even read the inside dust cover to figure out what this book is about. I definitely relied on Book Talk and Katie. I think Katie said she liked it. T Katie, did you even pick this up? I don't even remember. But I know it got really popular and it's a fantasy and I like fantasy and it's gonna look really pretty because the spine is stunning so it's gonna look good on my bookshelf regardless. But I know there's a sequel to it as well, so hopefully I can pick this up soon. Honestly, that's kind of the case with all of these books. The last two books I picked up were The Merciful Crow and The Faithless Hawk by Margaret Owen. I don't know why I said Margaret like that. Like Margaret? But I said Margaret? I was weird. I have no clue what this book is about, but it has a pretty map. So... You know, you had me at the pretty map. Oh, it was. Okay, the thing that got me was the fact that the crown prince and his bodyguard faked their death to get away from their mother. Or I guess the crown prince's mother, not the bodyguard. Basically to get away from the crown. And I think it's a gang? Is he a leader of a gang? I'm not quite sure. But he's supposed to help the prince and the bodyguard, even though he's more of a rebel type character. Stunning cover designs as well. Who's the artist for this? Because I'm, I'm in awe. I really, really love this cover design for both of these. Rich D and Sophie Erb, you are both very talented because something about this cover, I don't know, it speaks to me. It might be the castle, it might be the birds, it could be the font, <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully it's good. I feel like my sister might have picked this up. I'll have to ask her because I kid you not, I'm pretty sure our library had a sale and she loves Six of Crows and I think she just bought every book that had the word crow in it. So I think this is why that is familiar to me is because she bought it or loaned it from the library. One of the two. I'm not sure. But those are all the books I got. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little book shopping, come book shopping with me video. Um, I went to so many bookstores. I think 10. Could have been nine, hopefully it's ten, because that's literally what I'm titling the video. So if it's nine and the title said ten, ten is just more appealing, okay, than nine. I'm sorry. Sorry if I lied. I honestly lost count. I'm not sure how many it went to, but um this was very fun. I did check my bank account, and honestly, for how many books I bought, I did a really good job. Like I love half price so so much. Um Amazon can go fuck itself because right now I'm looking to get the Dragon Republic and the Burning God which is the second and third book of the Poppy War series and I shit you not the second book is $25 like you better be joking because why am I about to spend $25 for one book and it's not even like a collector's or special edition it's a hardcover so if the price doesn't drop I might just buy it because I want to read it and annotate it and I could not find it at any of the 10 bookstores I went to which was like the one thing I was looking for in every single shop and I could not find it. But a tangent again aside, I gotta, I don't know why I'm, I'm tangenting, tangenting, 
going off on tangents not tangenting good lord i don't know why i'm going off on tangents so much because i am literally exhausted so i just need to shut the camera off but i really hope you enjoyed and please do subscribe for more chaotic and fun bookish videos like this and i really hope to see you in the next one toodles Thank you.